everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all you know what time it is we've been talking about the sephora vib sale for my past two previous videos if you haven't seen those videos i will link them above check them out so now it's time for the haul today was day one for rouge members to shop and this is my well, well i'm going to say bulbous <laughs> my bath and body works bow line pick up in store and um i feel like i'm gonna have another like an online order but i wanted to show you what i got for day one so the first thing i picked up was this laneige um midnight minis lip sleeping mask kit I always try to get this kit during this time of the year because I, I've told y'all previously I like to have a lip mask at my nightstand, my vanity, and, and the sink in my bathroom. So when I just see this little kit, I just always get it because why not? It, it's, it's great and you get to try the different, is it scents? But you know, you get to try, like this has vanilla, mint, mango. I've never tried the vanilla. That's the only one I haven't, tr no, I haven't tried the mango. So it's two new ones that I'm gonna get to try out of here and I'm excited for that. Next, you know, Sephora's brand is on sale for 30% off for everyone from today, which is October 28th until November 7th when the sale ends. So I decided to get this Sephora triple cleansing at triple action cleansing water because I haven't had a cleansing water in a while. I have been using a cleansing oil and I'm almost out of it. So I like to rotate. So I decided to go ahead and get this since it was 30% off. And I did want to get another cleanser just to have, I'm trying to figure out my night time skincare routine to make it simple and something that I will consistently do like I do with my morning routine. So I decided to try this um, Sephora Smoothing Exfoliate Plus Glow Cleanser. And we'll see how this does as my nighttime cleanser. I was thinking about getting like an acne one, but I don't, I don't know. So we're, I'm just going to see y'all. I've never used anything skincare from, have I, from Sephora? I, I mean, except their, their brand, except their face mask and things like that, the sheet mask. So I'm excited to try those to see, you know, how I like them. I've, this has been on my list. This brand has been on my list to try forever and a day. So when I saw this little kid, I said, this is perfect. I'm getting ready to be out of my sunscreen. And I've heard so much about this exfoliant that I want to try it. And this is the Paula's Choice Do More For Your Pores Kit. And this is just enough to see if I actually like it. So I love little kits like this during this time of the year at Sephora. Love it, perfect. And then if I like it, then it can go into my wish list when it's time to restock on, you know, different skincare. Okay, so I decided to get this Tatcha Violet C Radiant Mask. I was watching, oh my goodness, y'all. I was watching so many Sephora recommendations videos. I can't remember her name. But she talked about this mask and... I wanted to try the deep pore cleansing one and then she mentioned this one so I was torn because I don't I didn't want to get both in the same trip you know these are $70 so I decided to go with the the radiance because I'm all about glowing I'm all about radiance and all of that so I decided to go with this one for now and then we'll see if the other one you know makes its way into the cart because I really don't know this mask wasn't on my list so this was added to my list as this triple peptide plus cactus oasis serum from youth to the people so i picked this up because well i'm not gonna open it 
I was, I can't remember her name. Um, she said that this like filled in your frown lines and everything. And you know, I have a little line on my forehead because I'm a very expressive person. If you all have watched me, you know this. So I was like, okay, I'll give this serum a try because you sold me. So those two items were not on my list. And I think I have one more that I kept hearing about that I added to it. You know, so those two weren't on my list, but they got, you know, they slipped into the cart. Let's see, what do I wanna talk about next? Oh, I also picked up this Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. So I'm getting ready to be out of my eye cream. So I decided to pick this one up because I love Glow Recipe. I haven't used one product from them that irritated my skin or I didn't enjoy. I might not have fallen completely in love with it, but I did enjoy it. You know, all the products I've used from them. So I decided that my next eye cream was going to be this one. And plus, the, I got to show you this packaging. It is just adorable. They do the cutest, girliest packaging ever. Look at that. That is so cute. So I was like, yes, that's going to be my eye cream. I also picked up this Glow Recipe Hey Your Glowing Set. It has the toner and the niacinamide do yeah do drops that i've talked so much about y'all i had to get this set i love this toner and i absolutely love and am obsessed with the do drops and i'm almost out of the bottle i have now so this will make my third or fourth bottle of these do drops and love them love them I also picked up the Dr. Jart 10 Must Haves for lots of skincare solutions, the sheet mask kit. This is the one I decided to go for. I love Dr. Jart. You know, these masks on their own, I think are like maybe $20 or something. I don't know, they're expensive. So I always look to see if, if they have a kit because these will last me for a while because I have other sheet masks still in my collection. So I'm excited about this because the last set I got last year, I loved all the masks and I have a feeling I'm gonna love all the masks in this kit too. Okay, so let's talk about some hair products. So I picked up another of my Sol de Janeiro Triple Brazilian Butter Hair Repair Treatment. Y'all, I've talked about this. I recommended this. If you have dry hair, if your hair needs a lot of moisture, this is so good. So I had to get I had to get another one because I think I'm out of all my masks. And I stocked up on my mask at the last Sephora sale. And yeah, I'm out of all my deep conditioning masks. So that's one that I got. And then I saw this kit, and this is the Amica Good Vibes Only Hydration Plus Repair Mask um, Kit. And it has the Intense Bond Repair Mask, the Dream Routine Overnight Mask, and then the Nourishing Mask I have tried. So these are, you know, they're not the mini size, they're like the in-between size. So I was like, well, okay, I'll do this because this will last me a minute. You know, um, at least if, let's say if I use one, maybe two, I maybe get two to three uses out of each of these. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go for this kit and see if I fall in love with any of Amika's hair masks because the next item I picked up, I am obsessed with. And this is the Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask. This is my second bottle of this. I finished my other one and I was like, in the cart you go for the sale because this, don't be judging my hair today. I mean, it's rainy, it's cloudy, it's cold, it's the end of the week, you know, it, but it's still not dry, dry, dry looking, you know? And this stuff, I didn't have as much as I usually have because I was like in the shower <laughs> trying to get the last drop out. So this leaves my hair so shiny. I love it. Flash Instant Shine Mask from Amika. Okay, let's talk some makeup. So I told y'all I'm obsessed with the Dior lip oils. So I picked up the cherry one. Now the only one I don't have in my collection is the clear one. And that's the, oh, this is cute. It's 
So yeah, I got the cherry. I'm excited to try that one out. So I, I, I'm still, I don't think I need the clear one because it's clear. And these don't give, you know, bam in your face color. So that's why I just don't feel like I need the clear lip oil. Will I change my mind one day? Who knows? But for now, I think I'm set with the Dior lip oils because I have them all except the clear. And because I believe this is a clear lip oil, this I've been wanting this since it came out. This is the Fenty Skin Cherry Tree Conditioning Lip Oil. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up because this one is clear and I've been, oh, it's so cute. The Dior's packaging, I believe it's, you know, more upscale looking, but this is cute and I'm excited to try it. So the only other lip oil I have on my list to try is from, what's that woman's name? Lady Gaga. I can't remember the name of her makeup line, but I do want to try at least one. The pink one has been on my mind since it came out and then it was sold out forever. I hope it's not sold out now because I couldn't get it in store and I wanted to get the majority of my items in store. So this is the other item that I did not have on my list, but it kept, I kept seeing it in people's videos and I kept looking at it because I was like, Shaughnessy, you don't need another eyeshadow palette okay and i need to clean out all my makeup and so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be throwing away a lot I, I i feel like i am i need to really go through there because i haven't done that since you know the beginning of you know the big c <laughs> so i i i let I me mean, the pandemic since the beginning of the pandemic because i usually do it but i really wasn't wearing makeup so i just need to go through all of it and I was like, you don't need anything. You don't need anything. I've been obsessed with lip products because, you know, I was wearing the mask and then I wasn't wearing my lip products. And now that's kind of slowed down some. And I'm just not into different makeup as much as I used to be. But this palette kept calling my name, okay? And this is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. And it was already sold out online. Y'all, I woke up at 10... No, at 12 o'clock, I set my alarm to wake up and go ahead and do my order for my in-store pickup because I know things just sell out. And I, this was, by, by the time I got finished doing this, this was already sold out online. So I don't know if it's been restocked or anything, but here is this. It looks nice. This, is, this will make my second um hood up beauty palette i'm trying to figure out how to show you um without blinding you oh i don't regret it i do not regret this because the more i kept looking at it i said i don't have colors in any of my collection or my because i'm a palette girl i don't have like a bunch of single eyeshadows i said i don't have any that really look like this so I'm happy. I don't regret it at all. Not one bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> the last thing I have to show you today is a perfume. Y'all know it had to be a perfume. So this is Flower Bomb Nectar. Y'all, I haven't even opened it. I just got home from work and I was like, let me um, film this video because I want to play with these things this weekend and set up and reorganize, you know. This has been on my list. Flower Bomb Nectar has been on my list for a minute. I remember maybe three or four years ago, I had a little sample of this and I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. But then I remember my mom, said she stopped she said oh shaughnessy smells so so good and like i tell you i always get told i smell good but her reaction and my mom is sensitive to fragrances she's not a fragrance she has i was i bought my mom i think two fragrances because she she's very picky about what she will wear i think i bought her two fragrances and maybe one maybe two fragrance mist and that's what she'll wear. 
and and that's and she's fine she does not have she's not like me you know too much fragrance just everywhere so when she's like wow whoa, that stuck with me and so I can't even really remember how this smells, but I do remember thinking this is really sweet. And I think it was warm when I was trying it out. And I was like, this is really sweet. It's good, but it's really sweet. And I just don't know. And then she, it just blew her away. And then, you know, I've heard so much about it. So I decided to go ahead and get it, y'all. I couldn't, I just, it's been on my mind for years, but it's hard to find these on sale. And then I was getting new fragrances, you know, to that come out to review and this and the other. This isn't new. But I said, I'm, I'm getting this. I said, I'm getting it this time because it's been on my mind more and more. And I want to try it out for, during the fall because I've heard some people say this is great in the fall. And I do remember it being very sweet. So I'm excited to try it out. So, y'all, that's my haul. Uh, for the first day of the Sephora Holiday Savings event, I had me a good old time. Uh, my friend at work, one of my friends got sick because we had planned to go this weekend. So she decided, I said, you can just order online and, you know, we can do the discount. So she did that. And then my friend at work, we're still going to try to go out you know, when she's feeling better so we can go in store and, and shop. But yeah, I had a good time. I'm happy with everything I have. I'm ready to play with it. I'm ready to open it. I'm ready, you know, uh, rearrange it, organize, all those fun things we do when you're a product junkie. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Are you shopping the sale? And if you are shopping the sale, tell me what you are going to get or what you actually picked up today if you're a Rouge member. And please share this video with everyone who's excited for the support for sale i just love it i know 20 percent is not a lot but it's something <laughs> and i like i said i save for this sale i look forward to especially the fall the the like winter sale at sephora favorite one so please share this video with everyone who's just excited for the sale and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time Bye.